children do you remember appu's visit to the market we learned to count three digit numbers quickly by grouping in the last lesson children we learned to write three digit numbers in groups of 100 10 and 1 with the help of batak uncle's bags in the same way we can write any three digit number in the group of 100 10 and 1 let's look at another example of this suppose you have to count 281 eggs in the groups of 100 10 and 1 so first you write 281 in expanded form then by paying attention you will find that 200 is made up of two groups of 100 80 is made up of 8 groups of 10 and one egg does not come in any group let us now see how far apu's birthday's preparations have reached and learn to identify three digit numbers by grouping to prepare for his birthday apu is going to chanda's flower shop chanda sells large garlands of 100 flowers small garlands of 10 flowers and she also sells separate flowers chanda has given 3 garlands of 100 flowers 2 garlands of 10 flowers and separately 7 flowers to appu to decorate his house appu is wondering how many flowers in total did chanda give him let's see what this number is If we add 3 garlands of 100 flowers each then total is 300 flowers. Now we will add 2 garlands of 10 flowers. This total is 20 flowers and we have 7 single flowers. Now we can identify the numbers with the help of the process of writing the numbers in expanded form. In this way Chanda gave total of 327 flowers to Appu. Now Appu wants to take laddus for his guests. For every guest he needs one laddu. He took 6 boxes of 100 laddus, 4 boxes of 10 laddus and 3 single laddus. Can you tell how many guests are coming to Appu's house? Let's do this together. There are 600 laddus in the 100 laddus box. There are 40 laddus in the 10 laddus box and there are 3 single laddus. Now we will write the expanded numbers and we get 643. Oh wow, 643 guests are coming to Appu's party. Let's join the party. Appu is celebrating his party in a grand way. So children Today we learned to identify three digit numbers by grouping.